420 Kings Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, for yet another unboxing. Uh, this is bought off of Amazon, as you can see. And this is one of the videos previously that I've done. Um, and everybody's kind of giving me a blast, right, on, on comments. You didn't do this, you didn't do that. BS. I did do it. But regardless of any of that, um, I've been working with the El Cheapo Beepo um, uh, pH pen. And now that I've got two reservoirs going, it's becoming more and more not in range. And I'm having to calibrate it more and more. So um, in the last video that I did, two different expensive pens, this pen I felt, while it was a little bit hard to calibrate, and we'll go through this now, step by step, all the way through in this unboxing, uh, it was more accurate because it had the two-digit accuracy to the right of the decimal point. So 6.01 pH, right? So let's get into this Amazon product, okay? Link in the description for this product. You check them out. Use that link, okay? You will get... Uh, you get the product and you'll be able to see it. But what will happen is uh, us at the channel will get a bit of a credit for it, okay? Any of my Amazon links, you click them, you buy something, uh, it'll help the channel out with a small percentage. What that percentage is, I'm not 100% sure. So first off, this packaging has changed. Uh, this was not like this the last time. So that's kind of cool. It's different. Let's look at the back check. Replaceable pH probe, perfect. Oh, look at this, there's a sensor shield. I don't know if that was there before, but we're gonna make sure it is on. Blue, green, and red, oh, that's kinda cool. I like that, I didn't remember that you could do that. Water resistance, all this stuff, right? So, yeah, what we got here is, we got the, um, we didn't, yeah, this is the D, is it the one we got? Which one did we get? I don't know which one we got. Uh, 60, pH 60 for sure. pH 60, pH 60. <laughs> so, uh, default. Oh, here we go. This is what we got. So, hydroponics. Not on that or not on that, which, I don't know if I need to do this. Or why would you do this? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into this. Let's open this up. Get right into it. So one thing is nice, it does come with a bit of a carrying case and all the stuff that goes with it. I'm pretty sure this is different too. Okay, but let's, let's open it up, see what it comes with. So I know it does come with these containers, which is nice. You can kind of put them in there and it'll hold it up for it. And yeah, and um, if I do recall, yeah, it is already moist. What is that? A bit of crust there. Huh. What well, that's all about. The liquid that was in there is crystallizing, maybe? Hopefully that doesn't impact. I'm gonna get a I put this on pause, I'm gonna clean that up. I'll be right back. Well, I'm gonna read the instructions first, make sure that that's not something that has to be there. But I'm gonna put this on pause and we'll be back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So I've got the instructions. I've got the crustiness off of this, okay? Um, this is a new tissue paper. What I did, I'm gonna do it on video so you guys can see it. I'm rinsing in the distilled water. Distilled water. Okay, and I'm rinsing, I'm dabbing this off, okay? So now, right, we're gonna look at the pen and we're gonna look at the instructions, okay? So what the instructions say are to calibrate Short press the power button, right, to get it on. Perfect, short press, it's on. No, did I long press? Let me push that off. Okay, so. Let's so turn this off, I don't know what that USA thing is. Short press the power button, perfect, R4. And then what you do is, you put, then it says, you dip the probe into the seven solution. So I've already rinsed it. You've seen that I've already rinsed it. I'm going to put it into the seven, okay? And then I'm going to going to hit and press and hold the calibration button until it goes green, okay? And then we know you're in calibration mode. 
but now that we're in calibration mode, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So all I was doing here was kind of waiting for it to go. It took some time to get into the range. I was in and out, spinning, twisting, yada, yada, yada. You can see the video. But again, it, it just it took more time than I would have liked, but I just sped it up so that this video is not crazy long. So now I will put it back to normal speed. Let's 6.86. Let's just short push there. Short push, it's flashing 7. 7.01 is what it is in this. Okay, 0.1 off, that's not that big a deal. So now, out of the 7, I'm going to use a tissue, okay, to dab off the extra, but I'm not going to reuse this tissue, okay? I'm going to dab it off, and I'm into distilled water, give it a shake, get rid of all that stuff. Okay, new tissue paper, new tissue paper, dab off the um, distilled water. Okay, now, next step is to put it into the four. Okay, and long press, calibration button, long press, calibration button, until it goes into the green. Now you're in your calibration mode, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stir it, we're going to shake it. In and out, in and out. All right, so this one took a little bit longer than the 7 one, but I want it to be stable for more than just two seconds before I hit that button. So I let it go, and I waited longer. Back to normal speed. Okay, sounds like it's staying there. Short push. Four, and it's in. Okay. Then it went back down to 3.99. Perfect. Okay, so now... Um, the, the directions say only to do, if you're going to do some alkaline levels, to do the 10, the third one. And let's be honest, guys and girls, if, I'm, if my reservoir is up in the 10, I'm, I'm way more problems than it being accurate at 10. I don't want it to be there. So I've rinsed it off, okay, and then I'm going to dab off the excess distilled water. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off, right, I'm going to turn it back on. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, once again, rinse it. Pretty sure I rinsed it, but I want to make sure I rinsed it again. I'm rinsing in the distilled water, so this is as clean as it's ever going to be. Okay, dab off the excess. Okay, I'm no longer in calibration mode. I'm not in there. I'm in measurement mode. And I'm going to go right into the first calibration solution. See what we get. All right, so this is set. We know this is seven. All right, so this started at 7.41 pH. And it takes, this time I've sped up, it takes one full minute to come from 7.41 down to the resting point where it didn't change at 7.09. I'm just trying to save some time for the video, but you can see it takes a full minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to full speed. Okay, 0 0.9, 0 0.09. So right after calibration, I, I, I did it at 7, and then I did the 4. And after the 7 and the 4, I'm no longer at 7. I'm at 7.09. So seconds after calibration, I'm off by 0.08. Point zero eight. That's not even. It's off. Not even by one. So, if you're looking at, uh, you know, the blue labs, which is only one decimal point, what would this show? Would this sh would it round up and show seven point one? Right in the seven solution, or would it show seven? I don't know. Don't know how that pen works. But at least this one, I'm off by point zero seven. Well, if it can keep point zero seven from now for at least a couple months, that'll be great with this pen. Do a bit of more research, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, not seven right on the nose, not 7.01, not whatever. It is a little bit off, even right after calibration. But to be off by 0.07 of, 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 of you know that much of a, a pH point, that's pretty accurate. So, just like the other cheapo Bipo, it's just that now that would be even higher, and I have to recalibrate. And while the calibration process is a lot quicker with that one. Let's see how this goes. So, as always, thanks for stopping by the channel and looking at the video. And uh, if you want to get your hands on one of these, 
okay? Uh, check out the links in the description for Amazon. You can get one of these, and if you use my link in my description, I'll get a bit of a cut. So that's kind of cool if you do. I'd appreciate it. Help the channel buying new stuff like this. This stuff is 130 bucks Canadian or whatever it was, 120 some, 140 some. I can't remember exactly, but not cheap. So check those links out. Helps out the channel. Keep getting more products. Keep getting more things. Um, the reason why I wanted to get this more accurate pen, because I, I, I am doing a lot more res. I have two reses now. And also, I, I've got another product that I'm going to do an unboxing for here in just a second. Uh, it's in this bag, which came from the States. It's a Taurus Hydro Perfect pH pH balancer, okay? I had some issues with it, the original one. I was, I was, I was calibrating the other cheapo people pen every day. I want to get this one in here and see what it's going to do with this product. Not that it'll make any difference because that cheaper one, as long as I calibrate it every day, it was fine. But more to come on that Taurus Hydro. There is a, 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 a link in the description. Not a link in the description. There is, a, a, you know, some, some videos on my channel about it. If you're interested in that, check that out. Maybe I'll put it in the end of this one. Maybe I won't. Check out my channel. I've got lots of videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, and do all that jazz.